So, what's up to everybody out there? So today, I'm taking notes once again on my own strategy. Meaning, today, I'm going to order some notes, you know what I'm saying? And today's going to be based on PCG, Paper Circuit Investments. Meaning, like, Paper Circuit Investments is a portfolio management structure. And in my notes, what I have right here, I got 32 to 40 units minimum. And I'm going to go from purpose, intent, and reason. And the purpose is going to be, why multifamily unit apartments? That's the question that you have to ask yourself, your apartments and different things affiliated or involved with your deal, the way my strategy is set up. So the answer is for us would be more for our efforts and bucks compounded as units like compound interest so a lot of times we understand compound interest right it's the interest on top of the principal that's constantly paying a residual you know income loan is the you know the, the person that's paying the interest out on the loan or the investment whatever it may be so that's how i look at compound interest also it's a combined it's combined units under one umbrella so multiple units earning interest v rents so I mean, all the rents is constantly paying. You might have some vacant or whatever. We're looking for properties that's maybe 85 to 90 to 100% occupied. So we're not getting into nothing that's not cash flowing. It's all income producing properties that we're going after, right? So because it's our interest, so that's why I say multiple units earning interest via rents because it's our interest. So anything that we do, it's our interest, right? So on the worst scenario, I got $50 times 32 units equals 1600 worst possible cash flow so you want to do everything on a minimum so that's the lowest we could go meaning you know if you used to get a deal and that's all it was paying which we're not looking for nothing that you know in that perspective but we just you you know worst scenario numbers then we got you know 500 times 32 units which would equal 16,000 if that's if it's less debt to none so me if i brought investors in i just wrote a check out for you know uh uh, 2.5 million on the average, you know, deal we may be looking at, or 1.5, whatever it may be, or whatever it is, we'll probably have that type of income sometime coming in because we got less debt. But in our strategy, we using leverage, so we gonna we gonna get 80% approved for 80% of the you know value, or they may try to you know approve us on the cost, which I don't like that. We'll talk more about that another time. So that's just the purpose, right? The intent today price versus future value. So in you know in real estate in most cases I'm gonna go lower three percent so I got within three to five years the real estate value would grow at a minimum three percent so meaning three years the value then grew just say the apartment building was I think I did the math from I believe uh, two two point five and three years that's two twenty five in value that's two hundred twenty five thousand dollars in value grew first year second year third year so. No, I, I believe them three years add up to $225,000. So, right, that was the math I came up. I just wrote it out wrong. So, alternative, the, the, the alternative is this. Alternative is potential rent raise due to the surrounding market. So, what that means, fellas, is, okay, if if other apartment builders in that market rents, right, maybe at $1,300, $1,400, $1,500 or more, and we got this apartment building deal, and, it's, and the rents is at, you know, $1,200, we can raise it a potential where well, a, a, a minimum at a hundred dollars, even fifty dollars more without you must add intrinsic value. Because we understand intrinsic value is we doing renovation to the apartment building. We might be going in, renovate, touching everything up, making it more upscale, more, you know, better living than what it may be, which we're looking for, you know, we, we did it with C private stocks. So they're not gonna be your A and B, they're gonna be the C, but they could be already in good living standards, right? But we just gonna just raise the rents. What what that do is that add additional value. In the first year you know whatever it may be so that's the beauty about apartment business you know what i'm saying the, the superior value you can add to it after you close on the deal so that's why i got so we can raise the rent a hundred dollars and a, an example is twelve hundred dollars rents can be raised to 13 so i did the math 1300 times 32 is forty one thousand six hundred dollars monthly times the 12 that'd be four hundred ninety nine thousand and two hundred dollars so we didn't have time to break down the cap rate, but use the cap rate to determine that additional value could really go up in six figures. So what I got using the cap rate to determine that additional value adding a six to seven figure new value within the first year, each dollar could be multiplied by 10 or nine. 
So we can we can multiply each dollar that 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 that, that that's reserved maybe or for show that's cash flowing. You know, that's the commercial real estate realm of real estate. I Means like a company you buy a company got a balance sheet, they got all this, so they can multiply it and then leverage against the sale equity, etc. So what I did take a quick note, return on investments, you know, most people survey may say 14 to 18 percent me personally i want to let my investors know that i'm willing to pay eight to maybe you know ten percent because the deals i'm looking at on low bars gonna be eight to twelve percent return on investment now when i get down into the nitty-gritty over here you will see that it's really a 15 percent cash on return of 15 percent which that's just a little bit you know overdoing it to me because i like to look at stuff the mess the investment strategy where we won't be all over the place too far out there because we dealing with something that's, that's realistic. A part of it is something you can touch as collateral, but we don't want to go too far raising interest rate because, I mean, not interest, but the cash on return, which is um return on investment, you ask me. So with that being said, now we're going to, you know, that's just, that's just my strategy, right? Now we're going to reason. So multifamily slash apartment complex, because it's different from, you know, just multifamily unit versus apartment complex. Apartment, apartment complex is more of the bigger, you know, building that you see around. You know what I'm saying? It's saying they just different terms. I'll tell you more one day later. So a, a multi-family apartment complex that have more income to share, making it work everyone wow. Everyone wow. Everyone everyone wow. Everyone wow that's involved from the investors, the lenders, deal makers, finders, principal investors. Me and my partners as the investment, you know, principles we want to say we the owner but we the deal maker we find the deal so we actually find we're going to get the fund we're doing creative finance etc you know we need down payment money passing investor for passive income you know what i'm saying so bam with that being said the deal can be paid off in a short period of time if it's structured in the right order or sold or sold for double or triple price if the owners increase value so what that means is if we structure this deal right in two three years we could go ahead and, you know, opt out it by selling it, or we could pay all our investors all who came into the down payment. We could even have an option to pay down some of the debt because we increased so much, you know, revenue by renovating them and things or just increase the value in rents. And now we got more cushion to make it really work the while in two, three years or the first year because, you know, the market kind of growing with all the inflation going, the more the inflation go up, the more things go up. So that would make the apartment better than other, you know, income producing assets go up in some cases, especially if you're talking about apartment because as the inflation go up, you know, cost of things go up in some cases, so the rents go constantly go up. So that's why you gotta have things that protects against inflation. So what I got reason also is CRE, which is commercial real estate deal, don't just change the situation, but it change your situation and life. So I'm not looking for something just to change my situation. Well, I'm looking for something that can change my finance freedom life, where I have more freedom to do what I want, how I want. So with that being said, I'm out this morning, and I'm going to go ahead and let this video chop out. And my next episode, I'll be a chop bowl. We're about to go down the road with that. Check the next one out.